Grupa Azoty. Główny partner polskiego narciarstwa. So, Severin, no jumping today. Did you expect that? Or are you a bit disappointed? Um, uh, of course, I'm a bit disappointed because, um, yeah, I, I really like Ruka and I had some, some great results already here and I really like the hill, I really like jumping here. Um, and I heard that it was really, really good conditions uh, the last few, de few days up until we came. <laughs> so, so it's quite the bad luck, but um, yeah, I, I heard that the, the, the wind today was just simply way too strong to, to jump and um, yeah, we, we already joked that uh, probably um, when, when today first uh, was, was thought of as the best day of the weekend, probably now it's the, the other way around and it will really get better. Um, so we, we just have to wait, sit tight and do our best to relax um, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll see two competitions. It seems to be some rule that usually the conditions here are perfect un until you are coming. I mean, this, all the jumpers, not you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it uh, happened quite quite often, but uh, it also was the, the other way around. Uh, I, I remember a few years back, um, the Austrian guys were here training or supposed to train when we were <laughs> training in, in Oberstdorf up until the, the start of the season and they uh, couldn't make any jumps um, in, the, in the five days they were here until the World Cup and then on the World Cup weekend the, the conditions were perfect. So yeah, it's, it's early winter and you just never know. This hill is considered to be very dangerous. Many athletes had bad falls here. What do you think about it? What's so special about this place? Um, yeah, obviously it's one of the biggest um, or, or at least one of the, the hills where you, where you can jump the longest on a, on a big hill. Um, but honestly, I don't think that it's one of the most dangerous. I think there are uh, hills where you are uh, higher, especially at the top of the hill. Um, and, and also I think um, there, are, there are hills which are harder to jump. Um, the, the conditions can be challenging and especially if you have the, the conditions like last year and I also think like uh, they would have been uh, right now if you have a strong headwind at the top and then nothing uh, and the rest of the jump then it's quite challenging because, of course, you're, you're uh, longing to, to go fast in your fi flight position, but um, you still uh, have to do it really fluently and not do it by force. And so I think it's rather the conditions that make it challenging. And how do you feel after the first weekend of the season? Are you satisfied? I'm, I'm really satisfied. Um, the team competition was perfect and also for me um, to, to come home from Klingenthal with a podium in the individual competition, that's, that's really something special because I, I never even managed to get close to it uh, in the last years. And so it's a good sign for me. Um, of course, the, the champ champs haven't been perfect. But I think um, that's the same for all the guys. We, we have now had one individual competition and it's still really, really early in the season and it still will, will take some time for everyone. And what do you think about the Polish team? Because they started really, really yeah. disappointing. Um, that's, that's nothing new. <laughs> um, I, I think we saw in, in single jumps of, of the team, like, like Kamil's first jump in the um, individual competition, that they are already there. But um, yeah, they they somehow uh, the first competitions in the winter are not not always their best competitions. But yeah, you can count on on it that they will come. Were you surprised a bit by, by the shape of the Daniel Ander? Not really. Um, he was already showing his skills last year, and he was already uh, quite good in the summer, also in the in the national competition. So I think. Um, him and, and also Forfang, that they can com compete on a high level that weren't really the, the big surprises. 
some athletes were not able to transform the summer shape like you know uh, K like uh, K Kento or the or David Kubatsky. What do you think about that? Yeah, it it, it does, doesn't always work one to one. Like um, it's 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 a hard process and um, yeah, somehow uh, Daniel really worked uh, his method out uh, to to get the shape into winter, but. I think it's it's too early to to say right now that uh, some athletes maybe not have brought their shape uh, into the winter because we just had one single. Okay, thank you, thanks a lot, and let's hope we have some jumping here. Yeah, thank you. Okay.